Well, Gay, it's Warwick Stakes Day on the weekend, and I was looking back through the Warwick Stakes on a roll. Would I be right in saying this is one race that has eluded you in the past? I think you've won a lot of races on the calendar. I'm not sure whether, whether you've won the race, but Rock and Pop gives you a good chance this weekend. Well, if I haven't, I can certainly do it on Saturday <laughs> with Rock and Pop. He's such a lovely colt, and the thing that I like most about him today, Richard, he really found the line superbly. Uh, Blake Shin rode him. He's been living a little bit on his nerves, like a lot of New Zealand horses. When they come over, it's a real adjustment for them. But he's really taken to it like a duck to water, especially the last 10 days. And he walked around after the gallop here, dropped the bit, walked around, and I thought, I've got you. And as a trainer, you'll know a lot more about him again after the weekend's race. I know, I know a lot more about him right now, I can tell you. <laughs> but it'll certainly, as I know what you're saying, it'll certainly show us where we're going with him. Okay, but nice colt and going the right direction. Lovely colt and going in the right direction. A real, you know, really a lovely milder that, that, that a horse, a race like the Epsom would suit down to the ground. Silver Shadow Stakes going, She Rocks My World, your nominations. This is probably the most consistent filly in Tullock Lodge. She worked super this morning. She's held a condition, which is something I love to see. She's totally unassuming, just gets on with the job. Up and coming Stakes guy, a really nice horse here in Sumerand. He couldn't have done too much more on debut the other day. No, he was most, uh, really blew them away, didn't he? And I think he can easily blow them away on Saturday. This is a superior cult. He's a magnificent type, got a lovely disposition, and he's been working really well. And he'll, be, he'll really give it a bit of a shake, the race. You just don't know where these three-year-olds can go at this time of year. If he, if he takes the next step, who knows? But he certainly might, and he might be a, you know, he might be a Caulfield Guineas horse. The Toy Show Gay, uh, Miss Stella Bell, quality mare, first up for you. Yes, I'm delighted with her. I gave her three trials. I wasn't at all happy after her second trial. She missed the start, she was back in the field and ho-he-ho-hum. So I, I put blinkers on her and she bounced out of the barriers, took control of the, the trial and it was really, really eye-catching. There's not a lot for these mares over the shorter trip. So I spoke to Bill Mitchell, the racing manager of Sedgen Ho, and he was quite happy that she starts in the 1300, and I think she'll handle it well. Okay. Former European horse, Juliana Skay, uh, in a benchmark 90 out of the 2200. Yes, well, you saw him run a very eye-catching first up, uh, beaten, uh, uh, third, ran third, beaten ahead and ahead. He'll take a stack of beating. He's very fit. His work on the course proper here was great today. He worked with his stable mate, Glenn Cadden Gold, who was a first-up winner at Canterbury. Uh, he'll run a very good race. He'll appreciate the longer trip. And Strawberry Boy has always been a horse that's shown good ability. He might say the best in this preparation, and he's known for a benchmark 80, 1300. I think the more racing Strawberry Boy does, the better he'll be. He can be a bit goofy. So he's, he's Clark Gable or Tom Cruise one day, and he's goofy the next. <laughs> so hopefully we don't get goofy on Saturday. But he's a beautiful, really beautiful and handsome horse. And with the blinkers, it'll make him sort of concentrate. I think he'll run very well. He certainly galloped brilliantly. And before we let you go, Gay, can you let the TVN know as the progress of more joyous and Piero, the two big guns? They're great. They're really good. They're, um, they're not very far off starting. Uh, Piero glided over a 1,000 metres here this morning with Nash in the saddle. And, of course, you saw him go for an exhibition gallop on Saturday. And more joyous just comes out and thumps her chest and says, you know, I'm Wonder Woman, and she is. So couldn't be happy with both? No, I'm delighted. They're both on target to start very soon.